Okay, so we just found 0 0.0625 here. All right. So what about what about in this column? What are we going to find? Well, we have, it's going to be two and a half times thirty right. is sixty plus fifteen. It's going right. to be seventy-five minus thirty, which is thirty minus thirty is forty-five. Okay. So that's to forty-five. Forty-five. All right. Rounded up and split. It's oh, yeah, round it up is what? It's 0. 0.50. 0. 0.50. So it looks like the salary is actually increased. Okay. What about over here? Well, you've got two and a half times zero. All right, which is zero, what? How do we zero. do that? Okay, zero. Minus, tw minus, point two, it's minus, twen minus point 20. All right. Which is minus 20. All right, minus 20 it's cents or minus, minus 0.2. So that hmm. just tricked you more. Why? Because now you're paying her. You're paying her to work for her. Huh. So do you see, do you see the, uh, a pattern of what's going to happen? Maybe not the exact numbers, but do you see what's happening in this column? Well, this is getting closer and closer to zero, but isn't actually going to get to zero. Okay. Yeah. Why not? So I, I kind of see the pattern of the powers of five. Yeah. So see so, yeah, it's like power. It's like you multiply it by five and then divide by ten. Interesting. Hmm. Because All right. you start with one, five, twenty-five, one, twenty-five, six, twenty-five. Interesting. Do you recognize these numbers any other way in this column? There's some interesting numbers in that column. Hmm. Uh, they are the power. I see some primes, but six isn't a prime. No. Hmm. Well, they're kind of, well, if you put one, twenty, if you put, like, if you add all these together infinitely, you're going to get two. Oh, very interesting observation. It's so like you're getting closer and closer to two. If you, if you work you for, if you work for, this, if you work for them for infinity, you're going to only get paid two dollars. Interesting. If mm -hmm. the salary isn't rounded any. Okay. What if it is rounded? Well, the salary looks like it's increasing now. Well, let's stay in this column. I want you to see. I want you to figure out the the numbers that are in this column. So if you have some pretty good ideas so far. Well, you're dividing by two because you have a half. Uh -huh. Half of a half. Which is sometimes also you have known half as a fourth and eighth to sixteenth. Oh, so, so what's the decimal expansion for one half? So it's zero point. It's zero point five. How about for a quarter? Zero point two five. How about for an eighth? Zero point one two five. And and does anybody know the decimal expansion for one sixteenth? Zero point oh six two five. Hmm. Well, we're seeing a pretty interesting pattern in this. Yeah. So you first notice the powers of 5, 1, 5, 25, 1, 25, 6, 25. Yeah. But what did that also end up being? It was, it was the decimal expansions for the powers, the decimal expansions for the powers of 1 over the powers of 2. <laughs> Whoa. Are you surprised those are related to each other? Yeah, yeah. powers of 5 and powers of 2. They don't seem like they're related. Why do you think they're primes? Yeah. What do you think special? What do you think makes them related? Well, if you multiply them together, you get 10. Yeah? And where, where does 10 come into play here? Hmm. Where's the 10 in this? Hmm. Well, it's... Well, you, well, this is 1. Yeah. So, where's the 10? Where are the 10s? 2 times 5 is 10, but are there 10s in this column anywhere? Look like it, because you're not getting used just the powers of five. You got you got powers of five and powers of two, but, but where are the tens? There must be should be some tens lying around. Well, but what about in this column? Stick with the column we're looking at. Because there must be some secret tens hiding around. You're only doing the powers of five here, but there's no twos, so there shouldn't. Be any tens in the numbers that we're going to keep seeing? Yeah. But there might be some. Where there's some secret tens. Oh, 
in the well what about if you go in the last digits here, two five, two five, two five? Hmm. Yeah, those are twos and fives. Yeah, not tens. Where are you gonna get tens? Well, if you multiply this by two, this by four, this by eight. Yeah. That's sort of a ten. Sort of. What does this digit represent? It represents that's one that's five one tenths. What? Five one tenths. Five tenths. Interesting. So where are the tens? In, in the, the in the places. Hmm. What does that mean? What so, what like here you have two tenths plus yeah. five hundredths. Okay. And that's because of why? It's the it's decimal digits. It's the decimal digits. This is base 10. We're looking at things in base 10. It's 5 and 2 are related to each other cool. in base 10. Pretty cool. All right, now let's go to the other columns, okay? All right. Okay.